Uh, yes, and I do. Sorry, could you repeat that? Yes, it's for the Chinese New Year. And for five days, I didn't go anywhere. Oh, was it fun at home? Yes, because still lots to do. Mm -hmm. Very because fun. there were books and a lot of computer. Oh, you read books and played on the computer. Hi, Jack. How was your week this week? Well, I go to play. Oh, what do you play? I go to the playground. Oh, did you play on the swings? Uh, yes. Oh, did you do anything else? I also watched a movie. A movie? Which movie? Which movie did you watch? Jack, can you hear me? Okay, that's okay. Alyssa, what did you do this week? Alyssa, can you hear me? Yes. What did you do this week? What's something fun you did this week? Ready? Uh, for example, this week I played games on my phone. Did you play any games? Um, no. No? That's okay. So for everyone who just entered, please change your name to either Han Yu Ping or your English name. And please turn on your video so we can see you. Okay, I think uh, most of the people have entered the, ch uh, the meeting, so we can start class now. I'm going to share a screen. Lucy, could you turn on your video? Um, does my screen show? Yes. Okay, you can introduce yourself. Hi guys, so I am a new teacher at Blending Bridges. I think I've met Elsa before. Hi Elsa. And yeah, I go to Lambert High School with Stephanie and I'm in 10th grade. Say your name. I'm Natalie. <laughs> And uh, my name's Stephanie, 
I don't know if I met any of you either, but today we will be learn uh we will be having class with me and Natalie. All right. So today we're going to talk about um the Olympics. So first we're going to have a conversation and review the homework then go through the lesson about the Olympics, then play a game and talk about the homework. So first we'll start off with the conversation and homework. So last week's homework was to answer this question. What did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? And some ideas to consider is what did you eat, who you met or played with and where you went. So I will call on everyone to answer this question. Let's start with Alyssa. What did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? Alyssa, can you hear me? Alyssa, can you hear me? If you can, please unmute your mic so I can hear your answer. How about I give you some time to think about it and we'll come back to you. Let's go with Gabriel. What did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? First, I ate dumplings. Oh, and okay. and I walk and I watched a special New Year show on the television after the the show i stay up for a whole night at home oh do you for your dumplings do you what uh filling do you like to eat with your dumplings gabriel mm, normally like normally with some pork inside. Pork. Did you eat anything other than dumplings? Mm. Uh. Uh. Because of the New Year, uh, uh, in the living room, there's a lot of snacks. Ah, so you ate the snacks in the living room. Thank you for sharing. Elsa, what did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? First, I ate some delicious food and some shrimp dumplings. And I'm, I played with my little sister and my big brother. And I went to Suzhou. Oh, that was a very good answer. Thank you for sharing. So. Did your shrimp dumplings have just shrimp or was there vegetables or pork? No, it has shrimps and shrimps, fish and uh, some vegetables. It's so it's very nice. 
Oh, that sounds very good. What did you play with your、uh, little sister and your big brother? Ah,、uh, we went to Disney and we played some like we do music, like we do game, and maybe we went to park to fly the kite, but but because the Wind is not strong, so the cat, so the kite, not fly very high, but、uh, it's very funny. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. Did you ride any rides at Disney? Yeah. Oh,、uh, what was your favorite ride? Hmm. Maybe I like the donkey. Oh, that sounds very fun! Thank you for sharing, Elsa. Next, we will go with Jack. What did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? Jack, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. What did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? First, I am I mom to make dumplings. Oh, you made dumplings. Did you do anything else? Yes, and see my parents and friends. I have a big feast. I、uh, have a big feast with them. Oh, what was your favorite food to eat at the feast? Dumpling. Dumpling. What type of dumplings? Mushrooms and eggs. Mushrooms. That sounds very yummy. Did you go anywhere? Yes, I go to the playground. I have and to play a lot of games. Did you play with your friends or did you play with your relatives? I play with my friends. Oh, that sounds very fun! Thank you for sharing, Jack. Um, Alyssa, do you want to try again? What did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? I eat dumplings. Oh, everyone's eating dumplings. Did you make the dumplings, or did you buy the dumplings?、Mm, yes, I'm making the dumplings. Oh, you made the dumplings. What was inside the dumplings? Vegetable. Vegetable and egg. Vegetable and eggs. That sounds very fun and yummy. Did you eat anything else during the feast? Um. I go to park with. My mom and dad. Oh, did you play any games with your parents? No. No, that's okay. That sounds like a very fun Chinese New Year. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Lucy. Uh, you said you didn't. You 上次没来。
，没事，呃，你还是可以答这个答呃这个问题。你要是不知道怎么说，你可你也可以就试试答一下。然后，请把视频打开，所以我们能看到。Lucy, do you want to try to answer the question? Can you please unmute your microphone so we can hear your answer? Lucy, can you hear me? <coughs> Lucy, could you please unmute your microphone or? Nintendo. 你听不懂还是你你想试试答这个问题吗？哦、oh, ，Lucy's not here anymore. Ah,、uh, I guess Lucy does not. I don't know where Lucy went. So, um, I think Elsa just disconnected too. Elsa, oh, oh, Lucy, do you want do you want to try to answer this question? I didn't hear. 呃、uh, ，所以这个问题就是上星期的作业。我知道你上星期没来，所以没做那个作业。可是你还是可以试着答这个问题。这个问题就是问你，呃，中秋节干了什么？露西，你听懂那个问题了吗？我说话不要看我，就嗯，月饼用中文说就可以。是可以用中文说，我们可以帮你翻成英文，练练英文。呃、uh, ，Lucy， 你要是不知道说什么或者不想，妈妈，我这什么都没动就，这啥 ？Okay, I think Lucy has some technical difficulties. So. 老师看得见吗？嗯，不是。嗯。Okay. Yeah. Also, um, 
，你可以不可以把名字变成呃英文或者拼音？有一个学生，我中文不是很好，不会读这个名字，所以请把那个。名字变成英文或者拼音，谢谢。We can go on. So today we're going to be learning about the Olympics, both the Summer and the Winter Olympics. Um, so as a background to the Summer Olympics, they began in Greece. They started 3,000 years ago in honor of the Greek god Zeus. He is the lightning god. He, the first modern Olympics were in 1896. The Summer Olympics are the world's biggest sports competition. There are 33 different sports featured in both the Summer and Winter Olympics combined. They cost about five billion dollars to run. Uh, Alyssa, what is your favorite Olympic sport? One of my favorites is race walking. The race Alexa, distance is a walking. Stop. Sorry about that. My favorite sport is probably swimming. Um. Alyssa, do you know what your favorite sport is? My favorite sport is skating. skating. Oh, I like skating too. Do you like figure skating? Yes. It is very interesting to watch, and they have very pretty seats. Uh, Gabriel, what is your favorite Olympic sport? Mm hmm. My favorite winter Olympic like, sport is skiing on snow. Oh, I like skiing too. Have you ever been skiing yourself? Yes, and I skate once like one or two weeks ago. Oh, that's really cool. Jack, do you have a favorite Olympic sport? My favorite Olympic sport is ping pong. Ping pong? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a very cool sport to watch. Have you played ping pong before too? I play it once, or just once. That's cool. I have a ping pong table at my house too, so I like playing sometimes. Uh, Bob, do you have a favorite Olympic sport? Bob, are you there? If you are, please uh show your face and open your camera. I can come back to Bob if you feel comfortable talking and if you want to discuss this question. Um, Lucy, if you're there, do you have a favorite Olympic sport?
Lucy, if you'd like I to like basketball. Oh, you like basketball. Yeah, my brother plays basketball and he likes it too. It's a very cool sport to watch. So now we're moving into Winter Olympics. The, the Winter Olympics, the Winter Olympic history. So the first winter sport competition was called the Nordic Games, not the Winter Olympics. And these took place in 1896 in the French Alps. The, uh, the Nordic Games included six six sports, bobsleighing, ice hockey, Nordic skiing, and skating. It was always held in Sweden, and only countries in Scandinavia competed. So this was before Winter Olympics was a thing. And then in 1925, the Winter Olympics, well, the Winter Sports became part of the Winter Olympics, which made Winter Olympics. So first, the Winter Olympics did not start until 1925, but the first winter sport competition was in 1896. So do you know any Winter Olympic events? Bob, would you like to try this question? Do you know any Winter Olympic events? I like Yamacho is badminton in English and I think you were answering the question from the previous slide. Do you but can you answer this question? Do you know any other Winter Olympic events? Play badminton. Badminton is a wonderful sport, but it is not a winter sport. Do you know any winter sports? So Winter Olympics uh yeah, So is figure skating. And Sorry? Gaokong Hwashi. Yeah. Gaokong is skiing in English. So you mentioned figure skating and skiing, and these are all events that we will talk about in the next slides. Thank you for sharing, Bob. So moving on to the past Olympics, the Olympics have been hosted in 19 different countries. One of these countries is Greece in 1896. In 2008, it was hosted in China. And in 1984, the Olympics were hosted in the USA. A lot of these countries come into one location so they can all compete in a single country. Uh, Alyssa, what are some cities that you know that have hosted the Olympics. Or a country that has hosted the Olympics.
it's all right if you are not sure about a country. Um, I've heard that they've been hosted in Brazil, I think, earlier. So that's a country that has hosted the Olympics before. Um, yeah. So the 2022 Winter Olympics are hosted in Beijing, China this year. And it takes place from February 3rd to February 20th, 2022. So it is happening right now. And some athletes are probably competing as we are speaking right now. So what events are you most excited to watch during the Winter Olympics this year. Uh, Gabriel, what events are you most excited to watch? Do you repeat that? Is skating down from a long ramp. Oh, skating. That's called skiing. In English, that is skiing. So it's like going down a slope, right? Going from like here all the way down. That sport is called skiing. That's a very interesting sport, and I like to watch it as well. Um, Jack. Do you prefer to watch the Winter Olympics or the Summer Olympics? Winter Olympics. Why do you like to watch the Winter Olympics? Jack, why do you prefer to watch the Winter Olympics? I like to watch the ice hockey. Oh, you like to watch the ice hockey. That's very fun. Thank you. So some of the winter sports that are hosted in the Winter Olympics are skiing. So there are four different skiing events. One of them is alpine skiing. It's also known as downhill skiing. And that's when the skiers slide down snowy slopes on skis. And what makes it different is that they have different skates. So their skis are fixed heel, have fixed heel bindings. Um, cross country skiing and ski jumping uses different skis and only the toe of your ski is attached to the ski. Cross country skiing is longer, so they ski for distance. And a fun fact is that they may have been practiced in 600 BCE in what is now China. Ski jumping is where competitors aim to jump and land as far as possible and slide down a curved ramp with their skis. So here's a picture of ski jumping. You can see that the skier is going down this big curved ramp and then he's trying to jump as far as he can. Freestyle skiing is where skiers perform flips and spins. So it's almost like gymnastics where they do flips and acrobatics. So freestyle skiing combines skiing and acrobatics all together, which you can see in this picture right here. Um, Lucy, is there a skiing event that you would try?
Um, Lucy, is there a skiing event that's on this slide that sounds interesting to you? Okay, that's okay. You can always answer this question oh, when you're ready. Lucy, um, this question, this question, Ski jumping. Oh. Yes, yeah, ski jumping looks very interesting. They have to jump a very far distance for this event. Thank you, Lucy. Uh, and next, the next winter sports are skating. There are three different types of skating in the Winter Olympics. Speed skating is when contestants, uh, when contestants skate around a track and try to finish with the shortest amount of time. They uh and short track speed skating is the same concept as speed skating, but they skate on a shorter track. And figure skating is my personal favorite, and it's a performance on the ice with jumps, turns, and dance movements, and they are graded on technical elements and artistry. So Bob. Which type of skating would you most like to do or try? Bob, are you there? Bob, uh, if you can hear me, can you please unmute your microphone and answer the question? Okay, I think he has some technical difficulties. So, Alyssa, what type of skating would you most like to try? I want to try... Um, figure skating. Figure skating. Have you ever tried figure skating? No. <laughs> no? Me neither. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I think figure skating is very cool. I would like to try figure skating as well. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> So for the winter sports that use boards, um, the events are snowboarding, luge, skeleton, and the bobsled event. So snowboarding is shown in the first picture right here. The sport is an activity that involves traveling down snowy slopes using a snowboard. A snowboard is this long curved rectangular shape that has curved edges on the side. Snowboarding first became an Olympic sport in 1998. So the next sport is luge and it's also called luge toboganning. It's a form of small sled racing. So instead of sliding on a big bobsled, you use a smaller one. The skeleton sport is where someone rides a small sled down a frozen track when they're still lying face down and head first. So this means that they're lying on their tummy 
like is shown in this picture right here. And they're trying to go as fast as they can. The bobsled event is basically a race in a bobsled. So this is a team sport and it involves more than one person. It is named a bobsled event because athletes would bob back and forth to go faster. And when you're bobsledding, you can go almost as fast as 80 miles per hour, which is as fast as a car. So, yeah. Um, Gabriel, is there a board sport that you would like to try? Mm, I'd like to try to to do large. Oh. The second one. Right. It seems like a very interesting sport and a hard one because you're lying down for it. Thank you for sharing. Um, and other sports that were not mentioned before include biathlon, curling, Nordic combined, and ice hockey. So a biathlon is a combination of cross-country skiing and rifle shooting. So we talked about cross-country skiing in the first slide. And rifle shooting is just shooting a gun I, and, uh, accurately. And curling is a sport similar to ice hockey, where players slide stones to a ring in the middle of the ice rink. They have curly, curlers that uh, affect the ice, and it takes a lot of strategy to get the stone into a ring. And Nordic Combined is a combination of cross-country skiing and ski jumping. So it's two types of skiing combined. And it honestly seems like a very interesting sport. And finally, it's ice hockey. So ice hockey is where players have to use a long stick to slide around a puck into a goal. It's almost like soccer but on ice so jack which sport seems the most interesting to you ice hockey ice hockey i think that's very interesting too it's like a team sport uh, that's kind of like soccer thank you So that was the last slide for the winter and the summer sports in the Olympics. And we can move on to the game. So the way you play the game is that I start by saying a word. So let's say the category is animals. So if I say cat, the last letter of cat is T. So Stephanie, has to say a word, um, an animal, that starts with the letter T. So for example, I could say tiger. And since tiger starts with the letter T and then ends with an R, the next person, Alyssa, would name a animal that starts with an R. Does everyone understand? I'll explain it in Chinese. To uh, so everyone understands. So this game is I will explain it in Chinese. So this game is I will explain it in Chinese. So this game is I will explain it in Chinese. So this game is 
uh, starts with a T. So then the next person, 下一个人就说一个动物，第一个字母是 R 的。Does that make sense? 你们都懂怎么玩了 ？OK. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Okay. We will start with animals as an easy start. Um, I will start with dog. I will go next. So, because dog ends with G, I will say gorilla. Alyssa, would you like to answer next? Gorilla ends with the letter A, so you can say any animal that you would like that starts with the letter A. Uh, please unmute your mic when you have an answer. Alyssa, do you know any animals that start with an A? It is all right if you don't. Ant. Ant. Ah,、uh, Gabriel, you're next. Ah,、uh, can you think of any animal that starts with the last letter of ant? My turtle. 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 Um. Jack, you're next. Please unmute your mic if you have an answer. Elephant. 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 Um, Lucy, would you like to go next? Name. You can name an animal that starts with the letter T. Tiger. Tiger. That's great. Thank you, Lucy. Bob, would you like to go next? You can name an animal that starts with the letter R, because tiger ends with R. Bob, are you there? If you are, please turn on your camera. Do you know any animals that start with the letter R? Rabbit. Rabbits. And next will be Alyssa. So since I started it off, we will just do the student. So Alyssa, do you know any animal that starts with the last letter of? Rabbit. Turkey. Turkey. Gabriel. Can you go next? Gabriel, can you hear me?
If there is no animal with Y, since that is a hard letter, you may switch to a different topic if you would like. Do you know an animal that starts with the letter Y? Uh, I don't know animal starts with a Y. That's okay. Do you want to... Uh, I can't think of any animal that starts with Y either. Do you want to choose another topic to start the game? So instead of animals, we can do food, objects, cities, or sports. I'd like to choose objects. Objects. So you can start us off by saying any object. Paper. Paper. Jack, do you know any objects that start with the last letter of paper? Yes, is... Yeah, can you unmute yourself if you have an answer? Please unmute yourself if you have an answer. If you, um... What was that, Jack? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. Can you think of anything that starts with an R? That's an animal, but that's okay. Um, so Jack said rat. Lucy, are you still there? Uh, Lucy, can you think of an object that starts with the letter T? Tiger. Mm. Tiger is an animal. Can you think of an object? I don't know. You don't know? Or can you think of a different uh, animal that starts with a T? Because we already said tiger. Lucy, can you think of any other word that starts with the letter T? See, if you don't know anything, that's okay. But can you think of any word that starts with the letter T? I don't know. You don't know? That's okay. Um, Bob, are you still there? Mm -hmm. 
Bob, can you uh, think of any word that starts with the letter T? Uh, Turtle. Turtle. We already said turtle. Can you think of another word that starts with a T? It is okay if you know, it's good that you know turtle, which starts with a T. Um, would you like to hear some words that do start with a T? So you have ideas for next time? Um, Bob, would you like to hear words that start with the letter T? Uh, you can just give him examples. Okay. Um, an example of something that starts with the letter T is a towel that is an object. Um, another example of an object with the letter T is a toy. Um, and a third example of a object that starts with the letter T is a teacup, which you use for drinking tea. <laughs> okay, so since, I guess we can use the word towel to think of the last word. So, Alyssa, do you know an object that starts with the letter L? If not, it is okay to go to the other categories. So an animal or a food or a sport or a city. Do you know any word that starts with the letter L? Back. You have your hand raised. Do you know anything that starts with the letter L? Ladder. Ladder. That's very good. Oh, so a ladder is an object. Yeah. So that was that would be our last uh word because it is ten thirty one now, and well nine thirty one depending on where you are. And we need to introduce this week's homework. So this week's homework will be to answer this question. Did you watch the Winter Olympics? If so, what was your favorite moment? So next week, we will be having a discussion about this topic. If you do not understand the homework, please uh, speak up right now and we can explain it to you. Does anyone not understand the homework? Okay, I think everyone understands the homework and this will be the end of today's class. Thank you so much for coming today and have a nice rest of your day. Uh, class.
class is over, so you can leave now if you want. Uh, class is over now, so please leave the meeting. And thank you for coming. Have a nice week.